here we are heading up to limestone mountain it is september 14th and it snowed not a lot just a little dusting but mm, it's gonna be a great weekend it's gonna be a challenge behind me i've got two rigs pulling some off-road trailers Two Toyotas are pulling the uh, Echo 4x4 trailers, and we have Todd in the Black JK pulling his off-road trailer. So we've got a bit of work ahead of us. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to it. Explorers brought to you by. Vermis Outdoor Company. Bright Source LED Light Solutions. Off Grid Trek. Go further, longer. Tacoma Town. Proudly Canadian. Go Treads. All Terrain Traction. And Devil's Head Coffee Company. Elevate your day. Over here to air down. Yeah, ten four. Airing down. You'll be fine? Yeah, it's gonna get rough. Yeah, actually these uh these are pretty good tires. Are they? Yeah. Okay. You guys coming? Hey. Here. No, I'm in the right place. Let's get. Oh, good guys. Yeah. It's a scene every time. You go, Jaeger. It's normally not this difficult. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Keep. Come on, go. Your brother's up there, yeah. I know you want to be up there too. Come on, Keith. Oh, yeah. That is so fast. That is so fast. <laughs> Are we ready? We're ready, brother. A good weekend? We are. That's right. It's snowing. It's snowing. <laughs> hey, do you want me to light up the way from back here? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what we're doing. We sent out an invitation out there to attend OWL, Overlanders Weekend in Limestone. There's a little bit of a challenge to it though. Instead of having everybody convoy in one large group, what I did is I thought it should be a challenge. So I gave everybody coordinates, grid references on how to get to each point how many kilometers between each point and that gets you into the owl's nest base camp for the weekend one of the trails is kind of a steep incline not that bad but the reason why i did it this way is so that people can learn how to navigate and how to find their way to a location so if somebody says hey how did you get there or where's this camp spot you're at I'll just give you grid coordinates I don't want to type up an email saying drive here turn left see the tree on the right da, da, da. no no give them each grid points that way they can research on their own using Google Maps or their mapping software that they use 
and find that destination. As overlanders, sometimes things are not easy. You have to figure this stuff out on your own. So, the challenge is out there. If you want to meet us, this is how you find camp. And I'm curious to see who actually shows up because the weather is not that great. I mean, it snowed quite a bit here for September for us. It's cool, it's currently plus one degree Celsius. Uh, the evening might even get down to minus five, minus six. Um, but you know what? We're well equipped, we've got the gear. Let's get out there and enjoy this weekend because nothing is keeping us from getting out here and exploring and being together as a group because I love this community. just up here. seen anything yet.
Yep, we're good to go. Just making sure Todd made it through. Okay, who's the crazy nut that planned this expedition? Uh, <laughs> look at me. You. I'm only 18. I am so happy you guys made it up here. That is awesome. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good. Hi. Cappy. Nice to meet Clayton. you, Cappy. Clayton? Clayton, there you go. Now I know who Clayton is. <laughs> You found our fire pit that we made last weekend. Oh, did, you guys make did you bring your you brought your teardrop up here? I'm not the only one though. Good for you. Hi. Steve. Steve, pleased to meet you. Rick. Rick, nice pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Yes, you are on full camera this weekend. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Shauna. Shauna. Hey Cappy. Mark. Hey Mark. Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> you made it up here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, right on. What do you guys think of the spot? Oh, hey? Calming. <laughs> Calming. Yeah, we were thinking about down in the bowl, but if that wind comes in from the north, we're gonna freeze our butts off. So at least here we got some tree coverage. Yeah. Where's Sean? Hey. How you doing? <laughs> How's it going? My dad Cam. He's Cappy. Hey, <laughs> pleased to meet you guys. I don't know if you would have chickened out or you No, just I'm just, I heard you bought a cricket and I'm going, oh geez, a cricket up there? Good yeah, for you. Yeah, Again, he proves yeah. that the trail hawk can do it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm glad you guys found it. Yeah. You know, was that you with the lights in the front? We all have light bars, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 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 It felt like breakfast. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to do a count of how many rigs are actually here, but they made it up to the top. We have got at least, I don't know, two, maybe three inches of snow up here. And it's a it's like winter wonderland up here. This is amazing. We were here just last weekend Saturday, and it was 20 degrees up here. Why didn't I book it last weekend? <laughs> this is amazing. Morning, Rick. Here we are. It's the morning. It's Saturday. <laughs> this, I think we're only at about maybe 5,500 feet where we are. And the road coming in was, you know, wet and there were some patches of snow here and there in the trees. But the minute you started climbing, it turned into a a winter wonderland and you know we're badasses because we're Canadians this stuff does not stop us from getting out here and having some fun we had a few guys come in a little later in the dark last night so we were scrambling to find spots to camp but uh, I'll go around looking to see what we have around here this morning a little bit later but first things first we got to get some coffee Get some coffee in. I'm not quite sure, but I think we have a total of possibly 15 rigs up here. 15 rigs. Uh, it's just just amazed we got some uh, pretty unique rigs up here too we've got some trailers of all sorts and the gentleman you saw go up limestone mountain back in the spring Sean in the blue trailhawk he pulled a cricket trailer up here cricket we're gonna take a look at that thing a little bit later so it goes to show that, you know, it really doesn't matter what you drive, as long as you have four wheel drive capabilities, you can get up here and enjoy these things.
it's snowing and it's September 15th all you can do is laugh and smile because you know what spirits are high though everybody slept well we might go up to uh, Limestone uh, today. Some of the guys might go up, but just to the radio tower. Uh, it's too unsafe uh, to go to the fire lookout with this amount of snow. Uh, it's not advised, so I'm gonna put a no to that. But people are welcome to go up and check out the, uh, the, the radio tower, but they're not gonna get much of a view though, so that's the only thing. Uh, this is gonna be foggy and cloudy and snowing. Okay, so we got a group that's going to get out of here and do a bit of a trail run. They're going to go up to the radio tower of Limestone Mountain. Like I said this morning, we just don't know the conditions of the actual fire lookout. So we would advise to not go to the fire lookout, but please enjoy the view at the first tower. Yuka in the orange Jeep. You remember Yuka and Sylvia? They're leading the way in the, in the first Jeep. And the rest of the guys with capable vehicles they're gonna go out and have some fun unfortunately I got to stay here I got some commitments to film here on on in the campsite so yeah the little uh, trail hawk that could have fun guys I like to see that the uh, the Nissan, oh sorry, the Nissan Armada uh, actually made it up here, and it's a four-wheel drive capable vehicle. Luxury. Yeah, luxury too. Yeah. It's Sunday morning and it snowed oh I'd say another four inches overnight but someone said they got up at 3 a.m. and they looked up and they could see the stars they were stargazing at 3 in the morning this morning we had a little bit of a blue sky and then it went away so this morning it's major pack up day it's clear the snow off all the rooftop tents and all the rigs and hopefully leave here as a convoy so we can make sure that everybody gets out of here alive gets out of here in one piece and uh, should be adventurous should be a lot of fun
you gotta check out this view. It's pretty amazing. Oh, it clouded over. You could see into the trees, into the distance this morning. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This, this is unbelievable. The amount of snow that has come down on Limestone Mountain is, it, it's breathtaking. And to have everybody come up here and join us this weekend, I was just so, so happy about that. Like, look at this. Everybody's spirits were high this morning. Even though we had another little bit of a dump of snow overnight, everyone's happy. They're glad they came out. Epic. That's all I gotta say. Epic. Go Cappy, go Cappy. Well, this is it. We made it down safely off the mountain. It was fun. It was a blast. Guys, did you have fun coming down? Yeah, yeah it was a blast. Like I said, we have an Armada. We have a Trailhawk. It doesn't matter what you have as long as it's capable. Get out here. Enjoy the outdoors. Enjoy new friends, new community. This is it right here. This is what it's all about. So get out here. This is our final episode for the Explorer season, uh, series for season one. I want to thank everyone for watching and supporting. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell for notification, and follow us on Twitter, Instagram. And I want to thank all of our sponsors out there that have been with us for this year. Some of our new sponsors coming on board, uh, Off Grid Trek. Thank you very much. We had a blast. We will see you next season. on one take. <laughs> <laughs>